Mankind is great, an immense family, and this is proved by what we feel in our heart at Christmas. And Ruth Carter Chetetan rightly says, Christmas is the most truly Christmas when we celebrate it by giving the love of light to those who need it the most. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Engineers College of Management and Technology, I, Sanjana of BSc Second Year, and I, Aryan of BBA Second Year, extend a hearty welcome to each one of you on this joyful Christmas event. Christmas, the great event of the year, is here. Today, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, born on 25th of December at Bethlehem. Christmas is an annual festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ, observed on December 25th as a religious and cultural celebration among billions of people around the world. It is a celebration of happiness, gift giving, and family gatherings. Not only the Christians, but also the non-Christians believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So people decorate their homes with bright and colorful lights, Christmas trees, cakes, and chocolates, and celebrate the feast of happiness with their loved ones. Jesus is a light that dispels fear, provides direction, and engenders music, peace, love, and joy. What could be better than these words to begin a cheerful day? Light. Light is one of the most universal and fundamental symbols of life. Light is the spiritual and the divine. Light is illumination and intelligence. Light is the source of goodness and ultimate reality. It provides and helps us dispel darkness from our lives and brings us hope and happiness. We have now traditional and auspicious lamp lighting ceremony. So may I now request Father Rector, Father Principal, Assistant Professor Dr. Ranjit Singh, Assistant Librarian Sudeep Kumar, and support staff Ms. Neera to come upon the stage to light the lamp and bless the occasion. May we now request our Vice Principal, Father Dr. Martin Forrest S.J. to bring the Holy Lamb from Sarvadharm Samabhav Pratnale, the Sanctum Centurum of our College. Christmas is the birth 
of Lord Jesus Christ. In the beginning, God thought of creating the universe. First of all, God created the lights, trees with apples, animals, water, and at the last man. But unfortunately, human beings started indulging themselves in inhuman activities and disobeyed God by eating the fruit from that tree which God had forbidden them from eating. They had forgotten the greater glory of God. But God didn't forget them. God punished them by banishing them from the paradise and then cursing them to live a life of slavery. So, in order to save the mankind from this curse, which is a life of slavery, Christ was born as a saviour and redeemer of mankind. This event is what we celebrate as Christmas. Tell me more. Once upon a time, there was a place called Nazareth. There lived a poor family. And in that poor family, there was a young lady called Mary. Living with her parents, she was engaged to Joseph, but yet not married. Then one day, what happened that day? Greetings, Mary. God's blessings are with you, my child. You? Who are you? What have you come to my house? Right now, my parents are also not here. Mary, don't be scared. My name is Angel Gabriel. I have been sent by the Almighty. But why? Why to me? I am a poor girl of a normal family. Mary, this is your greatness. You are the chosen one. You are blessed by God. You will give birth to the Savior and Redeemer. I am a virgin. I am not married. I am only engaged. How then can this be? The Holy Spirit will come on you and God's power will rest upon you. For this reason, the Holy Child be called the Son of God. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me as you have said. Thanks, Mary. You have recognized the will of God. God's will will be fulfilled in your life. The child you will give birth to will be named Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of Almighty. His empire will never come to an end. Thank you, my dear angel Gabriel. She told everything to her parents and the would-be husband. Initially, all were surprised. But later on, they all accepted the God's verdict. It was the reign of Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus who announced for the first ever census in the world. For this, young Joseph and Mary also went. While going for the census, 
Mary had a cereal.
when the baby Jesus was born, a bright star appeared in the sky. Seeing this bright star, the kings of the east and the soldiers came to know that the king of Jews was born. They all followed this bright star and reached to the cow shed with their gifts. Friends, I have seen this bright star rising in my country. I have reached here by following this bright star. Preach, even I saw this bright star in my country as well and I followed it. I have full faith that this bright star is a sign of birth of our Lord Jesus, the Messiah, the Redeemer, the King of Kings. I have received this message even in my dreams. Even I got gold as a gift. Even I have brought a gift for King Jesus, that is frankincense. What have you brought, Majesty? For such a great king, what can we bring? The king of the world, son of the God. But still, I have brought money. Let us go and see and pay our respect to God.
comment. May I now request Professor Lee Jala, Coordinator, Department of Mass Communication, to address the gathering and give the Christmas message. Thank you, Santana. Good morning and greetings of the season to each one of us present here to usher in once again the season of joy, love, faith, grace, peace and of giving. As we all know, 25th December is celebrated the world over as Christmas Day when the Lord Jesus Christ was born to Mary and Joseph in a manger in Bethlehem. We all just saw our students enact the nativity scene, celebrating the coming of the baby Jesus, the Lord and Savior. And the carol singers shared the joy of Christmas with their songs. Christmas can mean many things to many people. As a child, it was the excitement of Santa coming on his sleigh with a lot of gifts, beautifully decorated Christmas trees, fairy lights, Christmas cakes, silver bells and Christmas carols. As we grew older, we realized all the celebrations the world over is part of the joy of welcoming the birth of Jesus Christ, the reason for the season. A season for love, because Christmas is love, joy, peace, family and friends. Christmas is forgiveness, and Christmas is compassion. And as this joy and peace of Christmas time surround us, we also need to give a thought to those amongst us who may have lost their loved ones at this time, or maybe spending their first Christmas without them. Loving, caring thoughts for them, and hoping they find peace and calm of mind in the presence of the Lord during this blessed sacred season. For when it seems the magic slipped away, we find it all again on Christmas Day. We also know that Christmas is a time of giving we give gifts to our family, friends, and the homeless, and the needy. Today, I ask for another kind of giving. Giving time, precious time, that is relentlessly ticking away to our loved ones. It is said that the magic of Christmas never ends, and its greatest gifts our family and friends. So let's make a resolution to spend more time in the real world with real people. Get together, meet people, and in the true spirit of Christmas, give. Give what is due to our family and our friends. And I will go a step further and say, let us give what is due to our world, our environment, and our country. Yes, we need to give our everything to forever enjoy and celebrate the plurality that is India, the inclusiveness, the many beautiful patterns and weaves that make up the fabric, which is India. As the story of Jesus teaches us, Christmas can be the start 
of great things. I hope there are many great and beautiful things in store for us this Christmas and the coming year. I wish everyone a very joyous Christmas and a wonderful 2020. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your valuable words. We now request our rector, Father Joseph Thurmanal S.J., to come up on the stage and address the gathering. Respected staff members and my dear students, on behalf of our respected Father Principal, Father Nishan, Vice Principal, Father Martin, all the Jesuit fathers and brothers, of the college and XTEI. Let me wish each and every one of you the blessings of joy, peace, and the happiness of a grace-filled Christmas. It's a delightful time as we saw on the stage Christmas event enacted. It's a love story. It's a wonderful love story. God is in love with each one of us. God is the lover and we are the beloved. Year after year, Christmas reminds us God loves each one of us. No matter what religion we belong to, what caste we belong to, what country we belong to, where we are young or old, we have a degree or we don't have a degree, we are rich or poor, Christmas tells us God loves us. And therefore it's a great love story every year we remember. <coughs> Christmas is a wonderful season of joy because it's a love expression time. People give gifts, People meet each other, we greet each other. When we say Merry Christmas, we are giving our blessings to them. We want them to be blessed, their families to be blessed, their neighborhood to be blessed. This is the meaning of the greeting, Merry Christmas. God bless you because He loves us. <coughs> and since this is a remembrance of God's love for us, we also are invited then, not only merely to wish, of course we need to wish and bless them. Also we share our love with one another. In little ways, big ways, we show our compassion for one another. We forget our negative thoughts, our hurt feelings, and we can smile and laugh today. We can wish and shake and with those people. Particularly if we have not been talking to somebody, we have some hurt feeling towards someone, this is the day to forget that, walk over, shake hand and wish them. This is Christmas. God loves us and God is with us. And therefore, let this be a time to express our care for one another. That we are here elsewhere when you go out. When we wish each other, we bless them that the best may come to them, their families, their studies, their work, wherever they are. So, on behalf of our, all of us Jesuits, I want to wish each one of you the blessings and joy of a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Laura, Merry Christmas. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Father. Father, kindly be on stage for a while for certificate distribution. I request Professor Ramesh Patel, coordinator of Department of Computer Applications, to come up on the stage and call out the names of the awardees. <laughs> A very good morning and season's greetings to one and all present here. 
the whole world is a stage set by William Shakespeare and our Xavier Theatre Club is highly inspired by this and they are active throughout the year and across places. To harness their acting skill, a theatre and street play workshop was organized by our own Xavier Theatre Club in collaboration with Dialogue Centre Vaishali under the supervision of Father Pranay IMS. Following students will receive participation certificate. Aditya Sarat, Akash Kumar, Pankaj Kumar, Vikram Yadav, Odit Narayan, Raj Gagan, Sujan Kumar, Mahima Kakkar, Satyam Raj, Nishant Kumar, Udesh Raj, Shivam, Yash Raj, and Akshay Pyo. Christmas is incomplete without carols. Our students participated in carol singing competitions. Now I invite the students of carol singing group to come and accept the receive the certificate. Thank you, Father. There is some announcement. Uh, and I, a sports competition is going on in NIT Patna called Danga. Our students are participating over there and they have won some events. So, football, the Xavier is a champion over there. And Xavier boys, Asu Gohan and Sunday, they are the Karam double champion. And Vivi is a runner up in Cam Singles event. And Xavier Table Tennis team is also a runner up in Table Tennis Singles. Thank you. As it is rightly said, the moments we share together are the moments we keep forever. Now, as the program comes to its closer, I invite Vagisha of BB second year to propose the vote of thanks. And hold on to your breath. After the, for a surprise after the vote of thanks. Good morning everyone. A very happy Christmas to you all. I deem it a great honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks today. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to the dignitaries, management and professors for their valuable guidance and encouragement in all our efforts. I feel obliged to thank the Chair and the members of Cultural Committee, Discipline Committee, 
decoration committee, stage management team and the technical staff who have been working tirelessly to make this celebration a successful one. My grateful thanks to the administrative and maintenance staff for their immense support for this day. I acknowledge the Department of Mass Communication for photography and videography. I also want to thank all the participants and our anchors, Sanvana of BNC second year and Aryan of BBA second year. for hosting the most joyful celebration of this year. I must mention my deepest sense of appreciation to our wonderful audience who have been with us since this morning. It's been really a great pleasure being with you all. Wish you all Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.
Oh, oh, oh.